Hello and welcome, Sai here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the 2.1 preview. We had a sneak peek from Blizzard and there's some interesting changes. They went on about roofs and tiered roofs and all that, but what's interesting for us are the changes to dexterity and the changes to one with everything. So, dexterity at the moment, as you would know, increases dodge chance. Uh, dodge is a fairly uh, Fairly, a fairly poor stat, <laughs> and that's a uh, yes. When you dodge, you avoid all damage, but if you don't dodge, you take a lot of damage. So it's not great, and we've been complaining about this for a while. And Blizzard has responded. So in 2.1, we'll be getting armor per dexterity point. So that's great. That's great. That's very good. And as a result, they can be removing uh, seize the initiative because that's kind of redundant and um, they can redesign it now they haven't said how they're gonna redesign it yet but they will and I'm excited to see what they do with it now so what does that mean for us well at the moment uh, season initiative and one with everything is uh, pretty much mandatory for your toughness um, at the moment I've got 10,000 armor 75% damage reduction and that's kind of like what you want to aim for so we won't have seized the initiative anymore, let's change that quickly. So, right now, with my armor, I would have uh, 7,500. Now, I add the dexterity uh, bonus, and that will go up to about 15,000. Right now, I've put a lot of my paragon points into armor, and I imagine I'll be switching that over to resist all. Because you don't need that much armor, but it's good. This is a good start, it's a good break. So, what does this mean? Well, we won't need season initiative and you can change it out for another passive. That frees up a passive slot, which is fantastic. As I said, I don't know how they're going to uh, redesign uh, season initiative just yet, but we'll see. I mean, right now what it means is that I can take season initiative out and put in unity for group play or combination strike and then as extra damage. Um, and that's great. That's great. I, I, I like that change. It's a good change. Not terribly imaginative, but it's a good change. So, the other thing that's changing is uh, one with everything. Now, one with everything will no longer increase your resistance, uh, well, make all your resistances the same as your highest one. But they will change it, they will rename it to Harmony, and what that will do is 30% of your single resistances uh, will apply to all resistances. So effectively let me just change that a bit. Effectively right now I got uh, 1099 cold re resistance. So I only get a third of that uh, of the cold resistance added to my all resist. Which is alright. I mean it's not bad. Uh, it definitely helps with the gearing process because we don't have to hunt for the uh, the resistances we want to because sometimes it's it's very hard to upgrade an item when you don't have the resistance you want you might find something with better stats better this better that and the next thing however without the uh correct res resistance you kind of screw it you can't upgrade it it's a beautiful piece of gear but it doesn't have the exact resistance you want and that has always been a problem in my opinion that some people disagree with me because you can get uh, theoretically very high resistance but I've disagreed I think Harmony is gonna help with the gearing process I don't know how useful it will be um, I think it will still be mandatory because then our resistances are gonna drop a bit but as I said with the armor changes uh, or to dexterity I guess a lot of people will be putting their paragon points into resist or as opposed to armor percent so that's what we think. So right now, my feeling is that uh, Blizzard has a has a big plan for monks in the future, and we're just seeing part of that plan right now. Uh, it started off with the changes to the uh, set bonuses to Sun Wukos and the uh, Ravens of Thousand Storms, and you've seen my videos on Sun Wukos, and you've seen uh, you probably seen Invis's uh, video with the the Ravens Thousand Sorbs. Uh, those are great, those are stepping stones. Uh, however, 
I still feel that monks are going to be too dependent on getting these gear sets. They, we could do with uh, increasing the bonuses of other sets, uh, particularly inners, because the inners is pretty lackluster when you compare it to the new uh, Raven Thousand Storms and some of those. Uh, yeah, what other thing I'd like to see is the set bonuses on Sunwukos and Raven of Thousand Storms be a bit more powerful. Not the final set bonuses, but the previous ones. For example, 20% uh, damage when a combat staff is equipped. It's not that great. Let me just get a combat staff out. Okay, so I got the sword out now. So, yes. 20% combat staff is not that great. I mean, if you swap this in here, you still, you're still actually losing damage. 682 to 695. You're losing damage because, one, yes, you're getting the 20% extra damage, however, you're losing a lot of uh, critical hit damage from not being able to do a wield, and you're losing attack speed, and you, which is going to affect your spirit regeneration, and you won't be able to get uh, elemental skill bonuses such as 20% holy damage from the Skycatcher because there's no uh, combat staff that increases. Uh, elemental damage, which is kind of shit. So, right now, all that does is say, Hey, you can use a staff, but it doesn't make it appealing to use a staff. There's no point. I mean, the only difference is uh, is that is the attack speed, which is pretty huge for monks because of uh, life on hit and spirit regeneration. So, I would like to see the two sets of some Wicker's buffs uh, Raven and Thousand Storms. 500 dexterity is okay, but it's boring. And uh, lightning skills deal 15% more damage, not that great either. When you look at lightning bolts, there's so much extra elemental damage going around there that um, lightning skill damage is not that powerful. So, those are my thoughts on the uh, monk changes so far. Uh, what I'd like to see going into 2.1, well, where Blizzard will hopefully reveal more of their plan for monks, is changes to certain skills that do use dodge. Now we're talking about things like the Guardian's Path, 50% uh, damage while dual wielding, uh, Sixth Sense, extra dodge uh, based on your critical hit chance, and of course Mantra of Evasion, 7% increased dodge chance. Now these are flash rates uh, for the most part. So they will not be affected by the dexterity change. However, I feel that since Blizzard has acknowledged that dodge is not that great a stat, they will change our passive uh, skills and active skills for this mantra that increases our dodge chance. Because I mean, come on, it's not that great. The only reason people would use mantra of evasion is to get the um, hard target rune for extra armor. And again, I don't see that really happening with the changes to dexterity. So, yeah, those are, that's what I want to see. I uh, like the changes so far. I want to see does get completely ruled out of all monk skills and abilities. Uh, I would like to see the set bonuses buffed up a little bit more. And I would like to see some uh, more damage from our own skills. What I'm talking about is that you know I'll take our spirit ge generators for for example that uh, this one I'm just using is 143% uh, weapon damage. Compare that to a a wizard's um, main attack. It's uh, wizard's main attack can go up to 200 to 20, I believe. I'm just putting my uh, numbers out of my memory right now, but I know it's a lot higher than our spirit generators. And yeah, so we. We need our skills revisited a bit. We do have some nice ones, but uh, we need ones that uh, really synergize well together because that's the problem we have. We don't have too much synergy between our skills. And of course, there's the, the spirit problem. That's uh, a lot of our skills are just cost too much spirit. Now, the changes to some workers has made spending spirit more attractive than it was before. Um, but it is still an issue. It's still an issue. If you don't have the Sunwuku sets, you don't really don't want to be uh, having too many uh, spirit spenders around. You want to be doing as much damage as possible with using as little spirit as possible. 
and that's why things like Thunder Fury and item procs here and there are, are great because uh, it doesn't cost spirit, that damage doesn't cost us any spirits. So yeah, so that's those are my thoughts on the 2.1 preview and what I a bit of my wish list of what I want to see going forward. And yeah, I hope this has been useful. Please share your opinions as well regarding the 2.1 changes. And I'll see you next time. I think so. And cheers. Bye.